Well, well, what I think we should do is actually put a couple of test pits to get the bigger picture yeah. of mix right. Yes. And I yeah. think we can, at least we'll, we'll get an idea of what those are representing yes. before yes. we yes. start bigger. And, and then he finds associated yeah. with them. I suppose yeah. it could just be a load of Victorian bottles. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> he'll find out. <laughs> Once you've dug your test Once pit. Once I do. <laughs> Phil opens the first of two test pits in the orchard. John keeps an eye on things. I would help you, you know, but no, you wouldn't. You've it's never the first done bit so of work before. you've done today, so. Hey, when was the last time you did any? I've been working all morning. Yeah. But you don't know what work is, John. All you do is walk up and down like with a shut supermarket trolley. Look out for the crocuses. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Here, Francis. Now that looks like that mortar look. That is that same mortar. That is exactly that same mortar as this is over there. On the portico? That is. Go on then, John. Where's this on the geophysics? Oh, well, I said it was. Yeah, but I thought you said it was right at the no, end of the trench. Wait, look, you can see it's two metres in. Two metres in. Two metres, oh, well, there you go then. Although Wainfleet's tower still survives, the rest of the palace was knocked down at the end of the 17th century, and the area's been landscaped on several occasions. All these phases complicate our search, but they're not the immediate problem for Phil. Look, we've got a main sewer coming here through where those bricks are to that manhole, and then at the same time, we've got the, the canopy of the trees. We can't dig anywhere underneath there. None of this is possible. We really can't be digging any further than that down to the canopy over there, which is where your buildings are gonna be. But we can survey the whole area. We can survey right up to the trees, so we can hopefully give you a plan. Tree roots might be a problem, but not all our clues are below ground. John's got his geophys results for Penny's back garden, but there's a problem. Well, we've got the really good results you wanted, Phil. There's a clear building. We've got walls coming out beyond, even more walls. Um, but it looks as though that's all underneath the canopy. The main thing is, I think yeah. we can get the, the uh, corner, if, yeah. that corner there. Yeah. And that's only one branch, oh. isn't it? <laughs> it's a twig. Oh, a twig, a mere twig, right. <laughs> the keep trench is getting more exciting with each bucket load. And John and his geophys seem to have found a fan in Penny. Science sure. is amazing, isn't it? Hear that, this Phil? This technology oh. here. What's that? Amazing. 21st century science. Are you impressed by I'm that? I'm very impressed. Yeah. Oh, good very lord! If you, if you work with him as long as <laughs> if you if, if work with him as long as we have, you'd know this was just a mere fluke. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just ignore that. You get on in, with your toys. Well, John, is this the first time you've done a survey in the bottom of a reservoir? Yeah. <laughs> Although for John, well, it's the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> I mean, is it going to be plain sailing? We have got problems, and that's mainly the, the granite. I don't know how magnetic it's going to be. So the fact that, that granite has originated from a volcano, that volcanic activity may actually affect the magnetics which affect your machine? Yes, and we can confuse that with what might be burning or settlement you know, activity. Um, so we'll give it a try. But, I mean, how about the silt itself? Is that going to be a problem? I think what we'll try there is actually radar. Um, yes. <laughs> You're actually going to drag that wheeled trolley out across the mud? Yeah, because that would hopefully give us the profile of that old land surface, get profiles um, of the sort of valley, and then build up a 3D picture. Well, I hope you succeed. As long as we don't lose Jimmy in the silts. Meanwhile, Phil's extended trench one by 13 metres in his bid to find the outer rotunda wall. Phil? Yo! How are you getting on? Well, I've... Uh... Lost the castle, mate. <laughs> You've lost the castle? That's very careless of you. What's going on? <laughs> There's no sign of this outer wall, Phil. Strange, isn't it? Well, if it's in a metre of where I'm surveying, we'd see it. You would have thought it ought to have been there, though. I mean... That's there. <laughs> John, just disconnect and go <laughs> away, will you? Hello, my name's John Gator. Time Team is fan-funded by Patreon. This vital support helps us to make new episodes. 
Joining Patreon gives you access to exclusive interviews, 3D models and masterclasses, plus lots more.